everyone and welcome to this week's book gathering with Dory and friends. So I have my friend David here. He's one of our producers. And then I have Danny manning the social media platforms. We have our other producers, Catherine over there and Nikia is going to be fielding some other questions. So it's great to have you all with us. Today we are going over chapter number five. And it's probably one of my favorite chapter in here because it's fun. And today we're going to be talking about how to gain celebrity status by doing more videos. Now, having videos is one of the things that could be a major differentiator in your business. And that's exactly what we're going to discuss today. Now, if you already have a copy of my book, great. You know, it's also available on Audible's. And if you don't, you can go to medicalaestheticsuccess.com and get your free copy. We would love for you to have it. And if you already have it and you're really enjoying everything, we would absolutely love it if you go and leave us a review. Now, as we're going through this chapter, make sure you submit your questions. We already actually got a ton of questions for this chapter. It seems like many of you when I get into doing videos, but you're not quite doing that yet. Now, we do have a lot of our members because I'm always harping on them, high achievers and ready to fly members. I'm always telling them you need to do more videos. You need to do more videos. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Now, one thing I want to ask first, so those of you who are with us live, I would love to know if you go ahead and leave us a comment whether you're already doing videos right now. And if you are doing videos right now, do you currently have a YouTube channel? So go ahead and let us know. We would love to take a little poll to see what percentage of the people that are with us are already doing video marketing. So it's great to have you all. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I have David here who's going to be fielding some of the questions too that came in already. But I think we should start with one very important question. Why YouTube? Why videos? Why Why, YouTube? Why videos? Yeah, well, it's actually very simple. Why YouTube is because first of all, YouTube is free (laughs) it doesn't cost any money it's a beautiful platform and it is the number two website in the world google youtube google owns youtube youtube is a search engine just like google is so what a great place to be found what a great place to tell everybody about what you do and be able to do it basically for free. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? Nope. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. So uh, I remember when I first started doing videos, it's been I don't know how many years now, maybe 12, 13, and it was uncomfortable for me at mm-hmm. first. I'm sure as many people feel when they first get in front of the camera. But then once you get going, it's like you just do it, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You become a natural yeah. at it. And that's really what I want for you today is to be able to gain that celebrity status by doing videos. Because the fact is when people see you on TV, mm-hmm. whether it's YouTube, TV, whatever they're watching you on, on the phone, you, you mm-hmm. automatically become a step above, I think, everybody else. Mm-hmm. That's true. Makes a big mm-hmm. difference. So I remember when I used to go to a lot more conferences than I do now, I would be walking down the hallways and people would say, oh, that's Dory. She's Mm -hmm. the YouTube lady. That's right. (laughs) So I am a celebrity in our industry. And I'm not saying that from an egotistical standpoint by any means, but people know me from Mm -hmm. really our YouTube channel. And the other reason why you want to have a YouTube channel is because people are going to find you there, again, because it's Google and YouTube. They're going to find you there before they find you anywhere else. And why not put that search engine to good use? Mm -hmm. So that's my little Mm -hmm. intro for you to get you excited about first making a commitment to want to do videos 
because truly it's going to turn you into a celebrity. It's going to give you differentiation. It's going to have you be found so you can generate more leads, more clients, more revenue. So it's really a great foundation for your marketing strategies to start. And you need to start like right now. So go ahead. <laughs> so those of you who have questions, go ahead and start submitting them. But we're going to start going with some questions yeah, here. Sure. Uh, so when uh, someone wants to start a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. what kind of things do they need for their video? Okay. Well, starting a YouTube channel is very easy. Well, you should probably answer that question better than me. <laughs> but <laughs> starting a YouTube channel, you just create a channel. That's true. You just yeah. need a banner. Right. Just make sure it's branded. Like if you come to our YouTube channel, as a matter of fact, as we're going through this, you really should be on our YouTube channel because you're going to be seeing that we practice what we preach. That's true. Yeah. And you should follow. I'm more than happy you can copy what we do. The only difference is we do it business to business, mm -hmm. and you would be doing it business to consumer. That's really the only difference. Mm -hmm. But to create a YouTube channel, it should fit your brand and your image. So your banner should be a good representation of what you do, the name mm -hmm. of your business, and what people really gain from that relationship. So having a good headline is perfect. So like when you come to our YouTube channel, we have a picture of the book. You know, we're promoting the book like crazy right now because that's a great value for everyone. And then you just need a welcome video. Like again, if you go to our YouTube channel, you'll see the welcome video from me welcoming people to the channel and then letting them know what you do. So that's a great little intro video. And then you need to really organize your YouTube channel by categories. Again, if you follow what we do, you're going to see the most popular videos first. Then you're going to see uh, Dory Talks. You're going to see uh, Meet the Experts, a different category. Mm -hmm. So I think being organized from the beginning, which I didn't know this when I started like 12, 13 years ago, um, I was just uploading videos no categories no playlists no nothing so but you know you learn from your mistakes mm -hmm. and that's really why we're here today is to help you yeah. avoid these mistakes and do it right from mm -hmm. the beginning i have a question so what do you do to your video to help the world see your video well there's How do you a market lot that? there's a lot of lot that goes into it after you actually shoot it mm -hmm. so shooting it really is the easy process to mm -hmm. me <laughs> and what really takes time after is what you guys do. Yeah. You and uh, Catherine and John, all of our producers and editors, that's the, the time mm -hmm. that takes a lot. And, you know, once you shoot it, like how we do our newsletter, for example, I come in here. Well, first I prepare what I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. And then we come in here in our studio, by the way, we're in case you're joining us for the first time. This is our studio in Daytona Beach. That's where we film all of our mm -hmm. educational tools. Mm -hmm. And we come in here and we start videotaping. Mm -hmm. To me, that's the easy part. Yeah. And then they take that footage and they uploaded to editing first so they edit the front edit the back mm -hmm. thank god i'm a good speaker you don't have to do much editing thank god <laughs> right <That's true. laughs> okay i'm being <laughs> funny here i laugh at my own jokes if you haven't noticed <laughs> but anyway so then there's really uh, the art that goes into it having right. the thumbnail on mm -hmm. the front having the call to action at the back end um, and then having, of course, all the SEO below. That's a little more sophisticated that once you know how to really manage your YouTube channel, those are all things that you have to really take into consideration and do. Sorry, we have a question. What is SEO? Search engine optimization. So just like you have search engine optimization on your website with Google to be found, the same thing applies for YouTube. Mm -hmm. So let's say somebody is doing a video on Botox or whatever. Then they, below the video, they need to say something like this. Looking for the best place in Daytona Beach to have Botox. Mm -hmm. And then you tell me the transcription of that video. So that way we tied the city to actually the topic to mm -hmm. what people are searching. That's right. And then that's going to help you 
be moved up. So there's a lot, and that's really what my team of experts here really do to help with our clients being able to get eyeballs on the videos. So it's descriptions, tags, um, of course the content, yep. transcription. Transcription, and mm -hmm. then the, your signature on the very bottom, yes. links. Yes. Links are Super so important. important. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're gonna give away as a gift or this or that, you should definitely have that yeah. on the bottom of that description, for sure. And that helps, that helps you be seen a whole lot faster. And again, we're talking about becoming a celebrity. And the mm -hmm. more you are seen by doing these essential mm -hmm. things, then the better off your video is going to be. I yeah. Have a, I have a question. So what's, why, what's the difference between just uploading a video here and there mm -hmm. versus having a, a campaign? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, uh, YouTube likes consistency. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you decide that you are going to start doing YouTube videos, you need to be publishing at a certain date, certain time, all the time. Mm -hmm. Once you commit, you should always do it. And if you don't, then you know, you're not so relevant. Mm. And it's very important, and that's one thing I tell my team all the time. So like we publish our newsletter once a month, we do the shorts, videos that we need to talk about. We do our regular other things that we upload. So you have to be mm -hmm. consistent. Mm -hmm. And having a campaign would mean doing a series mm -hmm. of different videos that are all connected to one theme, maybe. Okay. So for example, if somebody's doing weight loss videos, mm -hmm. so maybe they can start with the first video being um, you know, why should you first want to lose weight? The second video would be, what problems do you have with weight gain? And then the third one would be the solutions for mm -hmm. uh, losing weight and gain, keeping the weight like off. Like nutrition and things exactly. like that. Exactly, all yeah. the things, that, the supplements that you need to mm -hmm. take or what is the treatment I need to have? Right. How often do I need to go see you? So that's like a campaign. You're telling them a whole series of ways that they can improve. Mm. Now, speaking of videos, there are different types of videos for mm -hmm. someone who owns a spa. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit about like what different types of videos we need to produce? Absolutely. So YouTube focuses, they kind of segment your videos into three sections. Uh, what they have right now that's becoming very, very popular and it's something that you're doing for us, David, and that's uh, YouTube Shorts. Yes. And they're actually my favorites. And I was just talking to Dr. Walters today, one of our High Achiever members, and she's, she's such a, like an implementer. And she's, I told her how important it is to do shorts. So shorts for YouTube are totally different than the regular YouTube production. Usually YouTube videos are horizontal. Mm -hmm. Well, with shorts, they are vertical. So they're trying to compete with Instagram and TikTok and this and that. So that's YouTube's way to start featuring what they call shorts, which are videos that are shot vertically and they are less than one minute long. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to our YouTube channel again, you're gonna notice how we are starting to do a lot more shorts. Mm -hmm. They are a great way to consume information, very quick. It's a great uh, way for people to binge on your videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So the second segment are videos that are between five and eight minutes long. Also, YouTube loves those. And then you have the long, videos which could be 20 minutes 45 minutes an hour so those are the longer mm -hmm. and if you notice we like to do all three of them mm -hmm. and you should really do all three of them and again as you get more sophisticated and more comfortable you'll be able to knock out the shorts very fast yes danny so we had you were talking about being comfortable in front of the camera and we had someone ask they don't feel comfortable on camera and they don't want to be on camera. So what other options do they have? Okay, actually we get that question quite a bit. So you have a couple of um, situations you can take care of here and do. If you don't feel comfortable being on camera, you have one option, either start doing it and get comfortable if you want to be the spokesperson for your brand. So that's very important. 
The second option you have is to select the spokesperson for your brand. I would prefer it not to be a team member because you never know what would happen. Maybe that team member decides to leave or not work with you anymore. I would rather have a higher talent. So I would hire either a model or a spokesperson or an influencer or a celebrity mm -hmm. or just a, a person you know, a friend of yours, to be that face. Now you don't have to worry about putting your business at risk. If somebody leaves, now you have all these videos and she's working down the street or he. Mm -hmm. Or just do it yourself and gain the confidence to do it. That's one thing we do is we help coach you on how to be in front of the camera and how to actually be effective. So those are your options. Another question. Um, can you discuss briefly the importance of not just doing YouTube videos or, or a, a landing page video or a mm -hmm. home page video, but also doing social media videos. Oh, absolutely. And, and that, how that all works yeah. together. Well, what I love about it, David, and everybody watching us today is once you do one video, that's the beautiful thing about mm -hmm. videos, is that you can multi-purpose them all over the place. So let's say you shot one video and you did it on Instagram or you did it Instagram live or whatever then you can take that content and just put it everywhere you'll be amazed actually how many people we talk to they do videos on social media but then they don't bother to come and bring them to YouTube like right. it's such a missed opportunity mm -hmm. what you want to do really is multi-purpose all that so once you have one piece of content then it is so important to just push it everywhere so like when we publish our newsletter we put it on YouTube first, take it public, then we send out an email blast about it, then we put it on social media, all social media, Facebook, Instagram, um, Indeed, uh, LinkedIn, I'm sorry, LinkedIn, not Indeed, LinkedIn. So those are all places that would be a great for you to actually uh, post. We have a question from Nikia. Yes? Okay, so um, one of your attendees wants to know, um, Oscar, I offer many different services. How do I choose where I actually start because I don't know? Okay, well, pick one. <laughs> pick the most popular treatment that you have, which is usually injectables in a medical spa. So I would do my first video probably on Botox and fillers and uh, you need to have a structure and if you have a structure for your video then it makes it easy to create it so actually i want to give you a little more advice on where to start let's say you want to do botox and fillers so if you go into google and you punch in botox and fillers and there's a bunch of things that are going to come up right but if you scroll down a little bit you're going to see a section on that home page of google that tells you other people have also asked this. And you're gonna see a bunch of things that people are asking about Botox and fillers. A great way to do a video is to answer what people are asking. So if you can take these, what other people have asked, and take it exactly as how they asked it, and make that the title of the video. I'm giving you a golden gem here. You better be writing this one down because I don't give it out too often. <laughs> I give it out usually to members. But if you go ahead and make the video based on that exact verbiage and you publish your video and you do your thumbnail with that video uh, title on it, you're gonna have more abilities for you to come up on searches than not. So that's where I would start. Start with one treatment, and then the beautiful thing about this is that you can start putting it, uh, every treatment that you have should have a video on each page of your website, as well as YouTube, of course. Yes. Go ahead. So for one, one of our viewers, um, he says, is an efficient way to create multiple length videos to produce a long video than splitting it into multiple shorts. Yes, that's exactly what we do with our, our Dory Talks. 
So if you go to the Dory Talks section on YouTube, that's our newsletter usually. That's one segment that I do monthly for our newsletter. So then David takes it and chops it up because usually I plan this in advance. If you notice, most of my Dory Talks are five ways to do this, six ways to do that, seven strategies for this or that. That makes it easy for him to slice it up because then he has principle one. Here's a mini short. It's one effort. I did the newsletter. Now we can have five more shorts without any efforts on my part. And those are the things that you learn as you get better and better. And that's really how we multi-purpose our content. Then Danny takes it and puts it on Instagram and on Facebook. So now we have shorts on YouTube. We have them on social media. And it was all due to 20 minutes of my efforts of doing the Dory Talks video. I think another thing is you can get creative and you can cut things in a different way so that you have certain sections put together for one video and then mm -hmm. different sections put together for another video. True. So you really truly are multi-purposing mm -hmm. all of your content yeah. and creating enough content so that you can spread that word out Absolutely. about your products, your menu, mm -hmm. treatments, um, your yeah, treatments. All that. Yeah. And how does that lead to sales? <laughs> Good question. Well, actually all these efforts <laughs> are gonna help you improve your positioning. Mm -hmm. it, the people are gonna see you as the expert because mm -hmm. you're putting out all these content mm -hmm. and they're going to be reaching out to you and calling you for your expertise. You're gonna reserve a consultation and then you're going to be able to recommend a high ticket mm -hmm. program for them. By the way, we're doing a webinar tomorrow and if you have not registered for it, it's a complimentary webinar. I'm going to be teaching everybody how to promote more high ticket programs so you can increase revenue. Mm -hmm. And that's really why we're doing all this. That's actually a perfect timing of like, why are we doing all this? <laughs> so we can be noticed, Increasing. we can feature our expertise and our knowledge so people can find us and so we can help them. That's yeah. why we're doing all this. The National Retail Association says that 91% of consumers buy online. Yeah. Um, and they are looking for, for yeah. products and services and they're gonna make a purchase. They're looking for solutions, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, everybody, the reason they go searching is because they're looking for a solution. So it's either they don't like the way they look uh, maybe they have a couple of pounds extra. Maybe they're not having sex anymore. Maybe they're, you know, not happy with whatever else, hair loss. I mean, you name it. That's what they're searching for. And the more you have content that addresses what you're searching, what they're searching for, the better off you're going to be. What about uh, offices, doctors, PAs, med spa owners? who've never made a video before, mm -hmm. and they, are, they want to buy equipment, mm -hmm. what, what do we do? What do we tell them? They yeah. want to buy like video equipment? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I didn't start like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a major investment, what we have right here. I started, I remember the very first video actually that I did was in our house in Orlando. And, uh, my wonderful husband at the time, Craig, who, by the way, you know, I have not mentioned this, but my dedication in the front of the book, uh, you know, Craig passed away from COVID, him and his brother, which was like the biggest shock to us all. But he used to do a lot of my video production, actually. And that's how we started. We started in my, in our house in Orlando. And I remember I had a beautiful uh, foyer so uh, we just got a chair, and you probably can see that video on YouTube if you go far back enough. And I had short dark hair back then. <laughs> and I think it was like New Year's uh, Day or right after the holidays or something. And uh, we just started shooting. Mm -hmm. I was nervous, mm -hmm. I was scared, but you know what? 
I knew it was something that needed to get done. And we just started with the phone. No, it was my little Sony camera. Okay. It was a little Sony camera that we had. We happened to have a tripod, and that was it. Yeah. So you don't need all this. Yeah. That's true. That's yeah, true. you could do it with your phone. Yeah. You can do it with your iPad. Yeah. Uh, you just need, well, you can tell them better. Yeah. What else do they now, need? The iPad and the iPhone are both great cameras uh, that you can shoot short videos mm -hmm. with. They shoot in 4K, you know, with crisp images. Um, you can even add an external mic mm -hmm. to it to, uh, to get better audio. Yeah. Uh, of course, I'd recommend putting that small camera or phone on a tripod. Yes, for sure. A little tabletop one works just fine. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, uh, a lot of our team members here at Inspiration Management use ring lights, yep. uh, which give a nice glow to the face. Mm -hmm. They're they're for, already for Zoom diffused meetings. Yeah, yes, for Zoom we meetings. All have that, yes. uh, but you can do that in your office. So mm -hmm. you can have your camera set up on a small tripod on your desk. You have your ring light mm -hmm. uh, illuminating your face, mm -hmm. and you can have your product in front of you. You can have, mm -hmm. you can talk about your menu, uh, talk about who you are, uh, and and all of this stuff is. Uh, very easily done, and mm -hmm. these packages you can actually buy a, like a vlog pack package through B and H or Adorama or even mm -hmm. Amazon. Yeah, where they have B and H is a, collection, a production collection. company that mm -hmm. sells a lot of stuff, so you can go there and buy some. So it mm -hmm. doesn't really require the people that tell me, oh, I need this and I need that, and they use it as an excuse not mm -hmm. to get started. Yeah, so you really don't need much to get started. Yes, Nikia. What if I post a video of a team member performing a treatment and that team member is no longer working with us? Yeah, good that's question. a that's a very good uh, <laughs> that's actually happens a lot in our industry. That's why I was telling you earlier you might want to find the spokesperson that will be your person. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of like taping a whole video of someone having a treatment, you can just do like little segments of it or do a before or after of it. And if you're worried about that, then I would only show a real zoomed in image of the treatment so you're not seeing the person's face. And you know, you're only seeing the hands or the equipment that they're using. So there are ways around it, but those are chances that you're going to take. You just, it's just a, a fact. So, but I would try to do a zoomed in and if they leave, they leave. I mean, it's no big deal. I have a question. Yes. So, um, if they leave, they leave, but what are legal precautions that we should take with that because they're included in... That's a perfect follow-up question to that. Uh, and that is so important. And you need to remember this with everybody you shoot videos with. It could be your clients giving you a video testimonial, uh, which, by the way, that's another thing we have on YouTube. We have over 100 video testimonials. So every event that we do, we make everybody, as soon as they come into the event, my team is at the registration table and Nakia and Danny and everybody is making them sign a waiver mm -hmm. uh, saying that we can use the footage on social media and this and that. So that is the very first thing you should do. As a matter of fact, my advice to you would be to make that as part of your initial paperwork when people come into your med spa. It should just be another paper that they sign. And that way you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to say, oh, wait, before you give me that video testimonial, I need you to sign. You're, you're eliminating all that headache. So that's what I would do. Yes, so there is a legal form they need to sign. It's an authorization and a release form for mm -hmm. video production, actually for any kind of production. Mm -hmm. And as long as they sign it, then you don't have to worry about it. So I would make my entire team sign it, which is what Danny was just asking. I would have all my clients sign it. And if you're going to have a spokesperson, I would definitely have my spokesperson sign it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Next question. 
So I have a lot of content that I could potentially post on social media, but how can I actually measure success with my videos? Oh, that's a great question. So how you measure success with videos is because every video should have a call to action at the end with a specific offer. So when somebody's watching that video, it should have a purpose of it at the end. So let's go back to the Botox and injectable question or, or video that you just did, let's say. Then at the end of that video, you should have, if you too want to get rid of fine lines and wrinkles, then go ahead and either click the link below this video to reserve a consultation and also mention this video and receive XYZ. So now you tied an offer to a particular video so you know when the phone rings and your guest relations team asks, how did you hear about us? then they can say, oh, I watched the video on YouTube, and now you're able to track the effectiveness mm -hmm. of that video. That's excellent. So that's how we do that. I have a question. What happens uh, after they've shot their video mm -hmm. and they've, they've got their content, if they don't know what to do with it? Mm. They need to call us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, um, I'm so glad to have David on our team now because we're doing a lot more work for our clients. Before, we never really opened it up for our clients because we were just doing stuff for us. And we have this amazing studio. So now we're offering um, our members to come and use the studio, actually at no cost, just the cost of editing. But other people, too, if they want to come and use the studio, they can. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're coming up actually with an editing version because a lot of people can do the shooting. Mm -hmm. This is what we're hearing from everyone. Yeah. They can do the shooting, but once you shoot it, again, the most complicated part is the editing, the posting, the SEO below it, right. how I started this conversation actually. Right. And those are the new programs we're going to start offering. So we're going to have three different memberships. Uh, one for one video a month, one for, what did you end up doing? One for, well, oh, actually, right, it's right behind, right behind us. us, good. So one is for two videos a month and one is for three videos mm -hmm. a month. So it's going to be a new campaign. We're going to be launching this so you'll hear more about it. So we can help you with the editing because that's everybody's biggest problem. Well, you don't want to spend your time, your valuable time, mm -hmm. Editing so video. Time consuming. I, when, I keep going. Aren't yeah. we done yet? Yeah. Aren't we done yet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so time consuming. It's very time consuming. But we can do that for for yeah. you, or we can do that for our our members. Yeah. I'm so excited yeah. to start having that, and he's extremely talented. He's going to be able to really get your videos looking nice. So we're going to be able to put the front card on it, the thumbnail, mm -hmm. which that's one of YouTube's most important ways to be found. Mm -hmm. So the thumbnail, the lower thirds, and then the end card. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of work. So you're going to be able to have a super duper video. It'll be very professionally done even though you shot it. It's the post-production that's going to mm -hmm. help you look good. Mm -hmm. And then the SEO below it. Yeah, we can take care of all those things for them. Yeah, so you sure. can go to Video Production DB. So it's Video Production for Daytona Beach .com, Video Production DB .com, and be able to reach out to David, and we can help you. We can give you a quotation. Mm -hmm. We can either come on location too and do some videos, or you can come here and do some videos. So it's up to you. But that's yeah. something that we're definitely we keep getting asked about it yeah. and finally now we're going to be able to deliver it and we're ready you. we're ready for you so we're happy yes, to do Nikia. it yes okay amanda she had a follow-up question regarding that measuring success with her videos uh once they're posted how can i get more followers and promote my videos oh that's another great question so you need to be marketing your youtube channel so at the end of every email that you send out on your business cards, you want to drive traffic to your YouTube channel so people can see what you're doing there. So definitely marketing your YouTube channel would be important. And then like after we publish every video, we have a whole 
campaign that goes behind it, you know, like mm -hmm. the posting it on social media, like the sending out an email, uh, your guest relations team, whenever they're on the phone, asking people to go and subscribe to your channel and ring the bell. Mm -hmm. So if you drive subscription to your YouTube channel, automatically every time you publish a video if they ring that notification bell which by the way i want you all to do that from our channel so go subscribe and then ring the notification bell and then every time we publish a video you'll be able to notice that we published a video mm -hmm. you get it in your feed automatically yes <clears throat> sammy said that he made a lot of some videos but they aren't getting a lot of views um, how else do you, what do you suggest to improve your reach? Now, you could also advertise with video marketing, just like you do Google AdWords, which I don't like, by the way, but I do like video ads. As a matter of fact, I'm always telling my team, we need to do more video ads. So that's another way that you can get a lot of views on your videos. So let's say you have a, a sales video, video that is with part of a campaign that you're doing or something you're promoting, then you might want to put some money behind it and get more eyeballs on that video. So that would be a great thing to also do. Another great uh, idea is getting an influencer involved mm -hmm. or having a relationship or a, 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 some kind of deal with someone yeah. else that has a lot of followers yes. that follows you yeah. and work with them. And send out the video yeah. on your behalf, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I'm always talking to you about business-to-business -business relations and mm -hmm. uh, having economical marketing strategies. And that's really why I love this so much, you guys, because if you, if you don't do this, then you're really spending way too much money on marketing that is not working. Mm -hmm. So it would be a great way for you to do that. And that's why we do the Meet the Experts show. So we can provide you with a video that you now can take and show everybody what an expert you are mm -hmm. by being on the Meet the Experts show. So if you like go to meettheexperts.com, you'll be able to see all the experts we've had. So if you want to apply for that, go ahead and do that. I just did the last Meet the Expert was with Dr. Mendieta from Miami and um, you'll get to see his video actually on YouTube. We talked about Brazilian butt lifts, so you can go and check it out. But now he's going to be able to take that video and he can send it to his entire database and put it on their social media and put it on their YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So it really helps. Every bit helps. All this stuff is gonna help you gain celebrity status because now people can just see you, your team, they learn about your expertise, and they all want more. That's good. All right, any more questions? Yeah, we have some. Um, if, okay, so I don't like to take um, videos because I don't want my competition to copy my products and treatments and should I uh, um, perform it on a team member and should I still charge for that treatment hmm okay that's an interesting question well first of all believe me your competition knows what you do <laughs> so that's not even <laughs> that's not even an issue there's nothing a secret anymore there's absolutely nothing a secret anymore as a matter of fact I was just in Danny's office yesterday across the hall and we were looking at uh, launching our relaunching our iTunes channel <laughs> by taking videos <laughs> stripping the audio and putting them on iTunes for podcasts so we were looking around to see who else is on there and you know, our theme for the year is scaling up, right? I've been talking about this since January, about how I want everybody to scale up. So we noticed somebody else that does a little bit similar something to what we do, not even close, but similar. And we noticed that every podcast this person had was things that we already talked about like six months ago. And you could just tell she's copying everything that we do and she's trying to mimic the topics and things that we do 
So that's competition for you. So I look at it as a compliment. You know, if you're that desperate, you can't come up with your own stuff, then, okay, you want to copy me, copy me. So your competition already knows what you're doing. As far as the, should you pay the treatment, I didn't quite get that, but uh, if you're filming somebody and you want to use it for marketing purposes, you need to be doing the treatment for free, if that's mm -hmm. what I understood. Wow. Come on, they're doing you a favor, mm -hmm. you're getting them on video and you're gonna charge them for the treatment? No, come on, be giving, give and then you receive. Yeah, that's that's the, what I always say. Including the testimonial. <laughs> that's yeah, right. Just get the testimonial afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you're gonna get a yeah. testimonial. So this has been so much fun. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. <laughs> he's usually behind the scenes. Yeah. And he's like, oh my gosh, you want, you even match actually the, our little book gathering thing. So this is our Daytona Beach production shirt and colors. They're green. And um, we, we have so much fun here doing our videos and producing and doing all these great things. And we just want to do more. Mm -hmm. We want you to come and enjoy it. We've invested so much money into this setup, so you might as well come and do nice professional mm -hmm. videos. Actually, you know, that's a good question. We probably had that question too, but I just want to address it. You know, people think that all videos need to be professionally made. Mm. Not all of them really need to be, but you do need some professional videos. Mm. Like for your homepage of your yes. website, that should be a professionally shot video. Mm -hmm. For your welcome page for YouTube, that should be a professionally shot video. For all the rest, like treatments, products, before and after, all that, you can do yourself. But at least these two things, they definitely need to be professionally shot. So like mm -hmm. someone like David and Catherine, mm -hmm. they need to go on location. Mm -hmm. There's a whole process for that, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a shoot list. We have to prep everybody up. You have models and you're telling the whole story from the mm -hmm. welcome to the exit. Mm -hmm. And those are things, again, that we can help you do. So if you're interested in the, uh, the on-location shoot, call us up and we'll give you a quotation for that. Yes, we have another question. Tiffany says, hi, Dory. I'm sorry I popped in a little late, but <laughs> hopefully you didn't already ask this question. Is it safe to put in family in our videos? Should oh, we I love that. Family? Yeah, I love that. Actually, it's very personal. And if you notice, like one of our most famous Instagram celebrity clients is Shelby Miller. She has now 115,000 followers on Instagram. And if you notice, part of her personality, her brand personality is about her children and her husband and taking them to Disney and doing this and having fun and eating and drinking and going to the park and being at home. And that's people love to do business with people. People don't want to do business with a website with not even a picture of the owner on it. That's terrible. So that's why videos are so important because it makes everything come to life. And that's really what you want. You want your brand to have a personality. And if it's all still photography, if it's all uh, stock photography, I should say, from Shutterstock or this or that, and it's all fake people. Ugh, I'm so over fake people. Come on, guys, get real. Have real clients, have real uh, client uh, team members have real things have videos on your websites and it will totally set you apart from everybody else because your competition is not doing that and that's the truth so beat them we have a question what are some tips for making short enough videos that give enough information without giving out too much content? yeah well, that's what the difference between shorts are below a minute and then the five to eight videos. That's something I need to improve on actually is doing those five to eight because I have always so much to say. 
I'm always giving so much information. It's like, how in the heck can I just cut it down to five minutes? But you're going to help me work on that, right? Yeah. They're like, okay, done, Dory. That's it. That's it. Well, you know, attention spans are so short I these know. days. I you know. know. And people want to yeah. get, get the idea quick. Yeah, so we're almost, yeah. we're at 50 minutes. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, he's telling I don't me, believe it. Like, time out. <laughs> It oh, just seemed like five. No. What's our next chapter after this? I know it went by fast, right? So next chapter we're going to talk about is chapter six, and that's increased revenue with economical marketing strategies. You definitely need to join us for that one. So it, it continues with the marketing, and there's a lot of gems in here that we're going to go over. But before I wrap up for today, on page 95, you have the shortcut to success and then you have inspiration management business tools that we help you with the shortcuts to success has in it really a step-by-step -step of what you should do that's create your YouTube channel uh, mm -hmm. gather your equipment that you're gonna use choose your editing software or sign up with us to edit your videos uh, do a video shoot list practice filming publish on YouTube and then all the other platforms and start mm -hmm. measuring effectiveness. Mm -hmm. And then as far as our tools, of course, we invite you to come and be in our studios and do some nice professional videos if you like, and then um, apply to be featured on the Meet the Experts so you can have a whole video. And then if you don't know where to start with video, you can always reserve a success planning session and let us help guide you through that process. To do that, you just go to inspirationmanagement.com. Right from the home page, you'll see the success planning session. Just click a button, fill out the form, and one of my team members will be happy to help you. So this was great, team. Any other last minute things? We're good? Thank you for having me on. Oh, you're fun. welcome. It was fun. Lots of thank yous on here, Dory. Oh. Everyone appreciates these book gatherings. Well, good. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying. It's great to have you with us. So keep learning. And if again, if you missed an episode, you can always go on YouTube and watch it. And we would love it if you start leaving us some comments and reviews and feedback. It's always so great to have you with us. Thank you so much for joining us and God bless. And until next time, stay inspired. Thank you, David. Thank, Thank you, you, team. Bye now. Bye, everyone.